to make a smart watering system for plants first we need a arduino uno board a soil moisture sensor a dc pump and some jumper wires now take a plastic container of any shape you want make a hole on the side wall of the container for the nozzle of the dc pump now fix the dc pump with help of hot glue Make a hole on the bottom of the container to move the DC pump's wire. Now take a small plastic container, remove its cap, and then stick Arduino with two double-sided tape. So as to raise the level of the Arduino from its base. Now make ports for the Arduino, which will help us in the future for giving power to the Arduino. Now make a hole on the top of that container so as to move the DC pump wire through this hole and to connect it with Arduino. Now take the soil moisture sensor and take its module and stick along with the Arduino. Now take the two wires of the soil moisture sensor and attach it with the module. Now make a hole on the side of the container to move the soil moisture sensor's wire. Now take three wires and in it connect the white wire to VCC, the black wire to ground and connect the brown wire to DO. Now take the three pins of the solid moisture sensor which we recently connected and join it with the Arduino. With the black wire with VCC, the white wire to 5V and the brown wire to digital pin 7. Now take the DC pumps wire and connect the red wire to digital pin 13 and the black wire to ground. Plug in the Arduino with the computer. Now upload this code 
you can get this code in the description below now unplug the arduino now it is the testing time put some water in the container and close it with its cap now give power to arduino with the help of power bank As you can see when the soil moisture sensor is connected and it is sensing dry then the water is pumping but when it is humid enough then the water flow gets automatically cut and now when we take out the sensor it senses that it is dry means it is not contact with the water and so that's why the water flows again now again we put the sensor into the soil and it senses that it is humid so the water flow is again cut so i am showing you in another way to clarify how it works see when it is dry then water automatically comes and when we put the sensor again in soil there was lot of water and that's why the water flow was cut you can see like this how it works when we put in water it automatically cuts the flow and we will take out from the water it automatically starts working If you enjoyed the video then press on the like button and if you want more videos like these then subscribe to my channel and press on the notification bell to get notified for my all new videos